Well, I got some new arrows in, so I figured I'd just kind of show you all the process of start to finish of what I do. Let me show you what I've got so far. This right here is what we call an arrow spinner. Uh, what I've got are just the shafts all the way down. What I do is I spin it and I'm just looking on both ends to see which end has the most movement. And that tells me which end, you know, is not, it, not so true. So that's the end I'm gonna cut from. I've already done it. So what I do now, I've got my tape measure and I've already pre-marked everything. So I come down here, I've got a mark on my tape measure somewhere. There it is. And you can see I've already marked the arrow. And then what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna set it up in this spine finder that my father-in-law and I built. So let me get it set up and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. All right, that's what we get. I've got some weights set up which equal right at two pounds. We've got rollers on each end. There, We've got a dial indicator. Rollers on this end. Now, I don't touch the shaft when I roll it. I touch these two rollers because anytime you touch this shaft, you can see that dial indicator is going to move. So you're when your needle's all the way to the left, that's gonna be your stiffest part, which is gonna be your spine. And then down at the very end, I'll show you on this, these arrows I've already done. Down on the very end, I put a little mark with a permanent marker. And once I, once I get them cut, that is gonna tell me where I'm gonna put my fletching, because I do my cock vein at the very top, which will be my spine and every one of my arrows will be spined properly that way they're gonna fly all the same all right next step is cutting it I got this little cheap cut off saw right here from good old Harbor Freight it's got a little metal cut off wheel in there all right, so the tip with facing the arrow is use a silver marker. Mark the end, you can tell the difference in the two. That way when you use your, your grinder over here to face it, you know if you've got it completely all the way around. So, we're cheating. Don't chuck it too tight. All right, see how it's got a little bit of silver left? That means I gotta do it a little bit more. There you go, perfect all the way around. Next step I like to do is take it on some sandpaper and just hit that edge. Get all the burrs off of it and that one is completely done. 